My Lady Inquisitor, leaving your own celebration so soon. been through a lot, haven't we? The destination was worth the journey. I'll never tire of how you see the best in everything and everyone. But what have I done to deserve this smile? It is said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against Chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orlais, where Empress Selene remains on her golden throne. The civil war is ended, but a new war rages in the shadows. Gaspar, it seems, has learned his lesson well. Even the elves have no rest, with Briala's uprising rocking the empire to its core. Fortunately for Selene, her gratitude towards the Inquisition has remained strong. Some claim she clings too tightly to the Alliance. Others know it is all that stands between her and defeat. The Grey Wardens of the South slowly rebuild in the months following the events at Adamant. They declare it time for the Order to emerge from the Shadows, to join the rest of humanity in fighting their ancient foes. Rumors abound that they severed ties with their leaders at Weishaupt, and that a bitter war now rages between them. What becomes of Alistair is unknown, save that all news out of Weishaupt soon ends. Does the sudden silence indicate a battle within, or something far worse? One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Leliana as successor to the Sunburst Throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she first declares an end to the Circle of Magi. The Mages will now govern themselves. She opens the priesthood to other races, declares support for the Inquisition, and rededicates the Chantry to the principle of charity. Divine Victoria is controversial from the start. Several new sects arise, resisting her reforms and declaring her rule a threat to the faith. She meets with their leaders, urging unity. Miraculously, her words take root, and for now, the Chantry remains strong. The Inquisition's mages, the former rebels led by Grand Enchanter Fiona, are left with a choice. When Leliana disbands the Circles, they leave the Inquisition and reform the College of Enchanters as a new order. The College, they say, will allow Mages of the South to gather in peace and seek new solutions to age-old problems. For the moment, it appears to be working. Mages are enjoying unprecedented acceptance throughout Thedas. And what of the Inquisition itself? Its web of influence is felt in every hall. Through diplomacy and the trading of favors, it has gathered the power to shake kingdoms. I leave Skyhold now, 
knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, she has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready.